Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we're going to be continuing our let's play of Baldur's Gate 3. Where we looked up last time we had just killed Ansher, we got the giant Baldurans giant slayer sword, and we also picked up the helmet, or we're going to pick up the helmet? No, we have the helmet. And we put it on Shadowheart, who I think it works best for because it does give us the critical hit immunity as the um, Grimskull Helm. And also gives us that bonus to armor class, saving throws, and heals us at the beginning of every turn. So, pretty great. Also, stun immunity, so that's pretty super as well. It's time to leave, though. We've killed the dragon. We're going to go rescue someone from prison now, I think. We might have to kill some Flaming Fist guards. Not exactly the most lawful thing, but we do intend to save. Oh. Okay. That was interesting. Wait, let's go back down there for one more sec. Was there anything else we missed that maybe we could look at? Like treasure of any sort? I doubt it, considering that it was an undead dragon. But you never know. Anything over on this side? It doesn't look like it's just a steam cloud. Waterfall. The Myrmidons, I don't think, have anything of value or of note. No, it looks like that's pretty much it for this place. I mean, to be fair, two legendary items is a pretty good haul for one little area, so I'm not going to complain about that. Now it's time to go. We do have our giant sword. It is capable of killing things really fast. It's actually an extremely good sword. And let's hope we can get out of here. I don't remember if there's a button we have to press or do we just walk up to the wall? We just walk up to the wall. Okay. It just reopens itself and we can leave. I'm going to try and talk to the fist and try and convince them to let us leave with the counselor. But if, you know, if it comes to it, we'll just get her out of here one way or another. Okay. Let's talk to her first. Counselor Fork. It's over. What's over? Counselor, what happened to you? The Steel Watch happened. I came seeking allies to our cause. Watchers spotted me, dragged me to Alder Ravenguard's husk, empty as a stair. A tadpole's puppet. Nothing more. He spoke in accusations, apostasy, conspiracy, sedition. I'll be executed in five dawns. I am going to break your uh, or break you out. Baldur's Gate needs you. Raven Guard needs you. Easy success. We don't even need to bonus us. When the us. people need a miracle, you cannot wait for the gods to answer. Older's words. I'd almost forgotten. No more sulking. I know what to do. Unlock my cell. Escort me out of Worm's Rock. Before we do I'll that... I'll seek out my connections. When the city streets shatter, you'll want their blades. Agreed, I'll find a way to unlock Hurry. your cell. Let's go try and convince the guards to let her go before we go breaking through the cage. Who do we think is in charge? Probably the wizard one that's wandering around. Where is she? There she is. Fist Ivaris. On your way. May Lord Gortash provide. Oh, he. Sorry. My bad. Well, he's not going to give us any ability to do so. Let's talk to the other guards and see who we can I'm not convince. Paid to chat. Okay. Anyone want to take the survival <laughs> route? Guess not. Anyone else around that we can try and convince to let her go? Before we have to go do a murder? What about you, random guard? Who is sleeping? The guard is fast asleep. Bathed in a ten day. Eat all the onions. Listen closely to the guard's babbling. Why not? DC 15, we only have plus 6. This could be a 
not a great chance. Let's try one more. We have a bunch of inspirations. And it actually did work out in our favor, so. Old man Otto. Back here again. Cell stinks like an old cabbage. Three balls of this do. Okay. Did that give us some insight, maybe, as to where to go? Well, there's nobody in this cell, and it doesn't look like there's a way out. That's her current cell. That's Arthur's cell. That's where he died, unfortunately. There's Otto. And there's another cell over here with a dead body in it. You know what? We're just going to let her go free and deal with the consequences. Open up. Let's roll. Keep focused. We can talk once I'm free. Okay. Well, this person's coming in right now. Are they going to engage in combat? Yes. Yes, they are. Unfortunately, it's not going to go the way that they think it's going to go. Where was this person? Do we talk to all three of them? All right, well, we're going to let them come to us, I think. Nothing will stand in my way. A tale for the ages. Why did we take an... Oh, because our... Yeah, why did we take a necrotic damage? Probably because of our helmet. I think we take damage if we don't do any attacks that turn. Sorry about that. Just had to pause for a moment. No mercy. Let's go hit some things. I think Saunders will probably die right now. Yep. We have two more fists coming in though. We have Jagic and or Jagic and Creek Rider. Still on my feet. Hope your soul is in good hands. Seventy-five percent chance to hit and no dice, but we did hit that time for thirty-four damage, and we will use our punching to do some extra damage. Not gonna bother with rage or anything like that. I don't think we need it. Grovel. That's fine. Actually, it did work surprisingly well. Bleed for me. That was a bunch of damage. As was that. Okay. No traps, please. So we had to kill a couple flaming fists. Nothing really of value on them, though, which is a bit disappointing. We'll take the expensive armor, and then that's about it. Was Ivaris the leader? Yeah, I think Ivaris is the leader. Look at all those keys on don't their body. That being said, I don't think we actually need to kill anyone else on our way out. There's a side passage, if I remember correctly, Here we go. over in the storage room. Anything cool in here? Let's see. Some toxin, some crawler, some alchemy stuff, basically. And creative vegetables. Any explosives? What's hiding here? We'll have a quick glance around. Some rotting junk. More rotting junk. All the rotting junk. Okay, nothing really of note. Is there a way out here? Maybe there's... Oh yeah, there definitely is. Look at this wall. 
There's clearly a breakable wall here. That's immune to slashing damage. Is it immune to crossbow bolts? The answer to that is apparently no. There we go. I remember this from the last time we played through the game. Let's jump across. And then we just leave. This is far enough. The way should be clear. I can't thank you enough for getting me out of that damned prison and for giving me courage when I'd all but run out. You got it, no worries. What will you do now? I will travel to the upper city, find what allies I can. You won't fight the coming battle alone. As long as the city stands, I will stand with it. This is my promise. Super. Thanks. She's just gonna go that way? Okay. Oh, there's a body over here. Leda Frida Oberon. Wait, wasn't she one of the people that was in the coronation ceremony? I'm almost certain she was. Let's try and do a speak with dead on her. The corpse remains silent. You don't have anything to say about your death seconds ago? Okay, well, let's continue up. There might be some more interesting things up here. I don't recall if there's anything cool. I think we have to jump across this part. I don't think it's going to let us go down and then up. Without actually using an ability. Just going to pause here for one sec. Sorry. Alrighty. Another set of double doors. Definitely hard. red, so we get in trouble for opening them. But you know what? Let's go see what's inside it anyways. Looks like we're back in the stronghold. We're on like a battlement area. There's literally catapults here. Anything cool or valuable? Nope. Apparently not. There's a lot of blood in that hallway. I'm going to save before going in there. What about on this side? There's a wooden trunk. Nothing of value. Okay. Well, let's go through the door. We just saved, so... Let's see if we get in trouble. There is... A lot of dead bodies here, and they're not even... We won't get in trouble for looting them. Let's talk to some people, because this seems bad. You seek Archduke Gortash, do not. Take the door to the right of the throne, just through the grating. But know this. If you do not possess the stone he requires, he will cleave you straight through. I trust nothing more needs to be said on the matter. Okay. This place looks like a slaughterhouse. What happened? My lord requires a clear path to his magnificent future. We cut away the troubles and Premble. Do not face him with our orange netherstone in hand. We will meet the same end. I don't think we're ready for this fight. If we fought this, we would die. There's too many silver or steel watchers around. Black Gauntlet. Oh yeah, so the Bay Knights have taken over the entire place. Okay. I understand. Any good loot on the bodies? How are you a bodyguard wearing simple robes? You're the worst at being a bodyguard. This person has so many magical items on them. Okay. I'm going to take that. I'm not going to take any of the javelins, but let's just take a look around. Looks like the bodyguard defied, tried to defend Janath until the bitter end. Didn't work out the way they hoped. Everyone is dead. Anyways, let's take the shield plus one. That's pretty good. And the longsword plus one is not pretty good, but the splint armor is pretty good. So, Anything else of note? Yes, yeah, some scimitar plus ones, but that's not worth a lot. Let's grab the armor. 
Ooh, there's some weird graphic-y things that happen there. Any more bodyguards? I think those are the real... The real winners here are the bodyguards. In terms of what they're wearing. I'm just going to look at the bodyguard bodies because I think that's all that's worth anything. There's an admiral. Maybe he has some stuff on him. Nope. Lord Amber's bodyguard? Maybe. Nope. Alright, let's leave. I think we've looked at enough here. There's definitely many dead people, but we don't have anything to do about that. I think the Steel Watch probably killed them all. Why is everything highlighted? I'm gonna tab out and tab back in. Something's going weird. Is there like a... Oh, I must have hit Tilda. Also known as the Grave Key, I found out. Pretty cool name. Uh, are we going north? We need to go north. Time to leave. We're going this way. What are we going to go do now? Let's go to... We might have to swap out... Gale for Jahira at some point in time. Only because I want to take her to her home in the lower city. But we can look around a little bit more first. Also, Gale's been with our group for a long time, although I think I kind of like Jahira more than Gale. Gale irks me a little bit. He's kind of an annoying character sometimes. And I've kind of seen Gale's storyline. I've never seen Jahira's storyline. I may swap in Jahira between this video and the next one. We can just make her a mage too, which I know goes against canon completely, but it'd be worthwhile. Just to see her story stuff. There's the Basilisk Gate here. Let's go up there. It's like a barracks. Yep, sure is. Anyone to talk to that looks like they're important, like this person. The thugs are getting bolder. My husband's been mugged twice this month, if you can believe it. You'll be safe out there. Can't trust a damn soul. Alright, not that person. Anyone else look like they're worth talking to? Maybe you, Thrassel Maria, maybe? About time. The Manip assured me a builder would come around a ten day ago and hold it. You're not the builder. Which means I've got no use for you. Why do you need a carpenter so badly? Hooligans at the Mermaid have been using my shutters for target practice. And that's not the half of it. I've had to replace the same window three times now. Not to mention the mess they've made of my front door. Now either you learn to fix my broken shutters, or you wag your tongue elsewhere. I can't really help with that, sorry. Maybe there's someone inside we can talk to. Laura, maybe. How many times do I need to say it? You sent words about a need, said that I should come see you about it. Of course, madam. Let me just... <sighs> Forgive me, why are you here? Is this some kind of sick joke? Do you have any idea what I've been through these past few days? <laughs> What's going on here? My daughter Vanra, my little girl. She's missing. This stupid, useless fist said she had a lead, but she must have been stuck in dream mist or something. Madam, tell me. You said... <clears throat> she was... <clears throat> <clears throat> taken from a tavern? Yes. The blushing mermaid down by the docks I told you a hundred times. Why aren't you listening? I'm listening. Tell me what happened. Excuse me, citizen, but if this is a criminal matter, it's my business, not yours. Now, madam, if you'll just tell me why <laughs> you're here, I'll take down the details. It's happening. I feel like I'm going mad. Help you find your daughter. You will? Thank you. I haven't slept a since she disappeared. 
I'm terrified something has happened to her. Her name is Vanra. She's seven years old and has red hair, like me. We were in the Blushing Mermaid when she was taken. Just up by the docks. Was anyone with you? No. Unless you count a couple of old drinking mates at the next table. But they'd be no help. They barely remember their own names. I was sober though. I swear. I stop in the maid for a drink sometimes. But it was only a quick one. You must have some witnesses, surely. Of course. The front of house, Boston Gannett was there, and the owner of the Blushing Mermaid, Captain Grizzly. Neither lifted a finger to help me look. It was awful. I'll head to the Blushing Mermaid now. Thank you. I'll head home. Can't stumble in around these idiots any longer. Come find me the moment you hear anything. Alright, let's talk to the guard, because that was weird. Commander Portier, Acting Marshal of the Fist. If you have a crime to report, please wait outside. We're currently at capacity. Currently at capacity for crimes? Your tools were stolen, right? No, you were mugged. Wait, I'm mixing you up with another citizen. I'm terribly sorry. I'll, I'll get back to you. On it. This detachment is the worst. Flaming Fist detachment. Alright, Cook Cameros. What's going on back here? Cooking as fast as I can. Those fists have got bottomless bellies, I swear. Okay, you're not doing anything. That door behind you is not good. There's a prison entrance, though. Let's go take a look down there. Doesn't look like we'll get in trouble for going down there. We got a bunch of experience for going down here, interestingly enough. There's a steel watcher down here along with several guards. And uh, let's go talk to them and see what they say. Don't go looking for trouble. Alright, I won't look for trouble. I might go through that door though. Quiet day, mostly. Don't go spoiling it. Alright, what I'm gonna do then is come back through this door, close this door, and then go through the other one. Let's save and see what happens when we go through this way. Now they can't see us, though. There's two doors, actually. Everyone in here, and we'll close this door. Counselor Florek's sentence. We should read that. This day here for or here found is Florek, former counselor to the four, arraigned in camera. For High Magistrate accused, tried, and convicted of treason, sedition, and incitement of unrest, and hereby duly sentenced to be hanged until the neck till dead. Thus all traitors and to the state and city of Baldur's Gate. Hmm. Let's open this chest. Could be loot. Stealing from the watch doesn't seem like a bad idea, because we are helping them with all of their problems. Can I see a door open? Yes. But no one came into the library, so I think we're okay. No one's noticed us in here yet. There's another heavy chest here. Just gonna grab all this. What's a crumbling file do? Report unknown actor influencing city politics. It's come to our attention that an individual calling themselves the Emperor suspected redacted, has been exerting an undue amount of power over influential actors within our city, including members of the Ducal Council. While there's been no report of nefarious intent, the unofficial and secretive nature of this individual's doings has raised the alarm among several sources. If this emperor really is a redacted, we must take swift action to ensure redacted has not become redacted. I'm gonna save before going into this next room, because I don't know what's in it, and I'm a little worried we might get in trouble. But no, it's just the armory, okay. Let's go take a quick peek in here. I'm not gonna take all the plus one weapons, but I am gonna take the healing potions. Yeah, there's nothing really else I want, okay. So, there might be a guard outside. It is, actually I'm gonna read this ballist resurgent thing too. 
The word denied has been written across this report in red. Memorandum for Blaze Portier via Basilisk Gate. Gauntlet Devella Fountainhead. Resurgence of Ballas Cult. Ma'am, my investigation into Duke Stelmay's death has revealed more than murder. The Duke was paralyzed with crawler mucus before being stabbed 36 times in a ritualistic manner. The right hand was all then removed. The city's murder rate is also at an all-time high with no discernible pattern to its victims. The last time the city suffered under such killings was during the Ballast Incident of 1369 Dale Reckoning. I'm not asking for the city to be placed on high alert, nor do I claim to have all the answers. All I ask for is resources. Give me a small, highly skilled team and I'll bring you the truth of these de deaths. If the Ballasts have returned, we need to be armed and ready or fear a repeat of history. So the Ballasts are back. That's unsurprising. Let's go see who's, if anyone's outside. I heard a door open, but it looks like no one's home, so let's leave. Who's that guy? Who's that Matt Okaid? If you're here to report something, don't bother. The fist don't give a damn. Okay. Time to leave then. There is a beggar down there. Strange beggar lumbar. He's looking an awful lot like a zombie. to have a go. Give it your best shot. An air of decay hangs over the stooped beggar's form. The smell of rot. The smell of death. Gold first. Then you can hit me. A strange way to earn your keep. Do many take you up on this? Plenty. Lots of angry people in this city. No one else to take it out on. Go on. You seem like you've something pent up. So, you having a go or not? Of course I'm not going to hit you. Then move. Let someone else have a go. That ghoul is very strange, but we're going to leave him alone. He's not our problem at the moment. I'm going to open this door, I think. I don't remember if this is the one that we need to go into or not. Well, there's a murder in here, that's for sure. Gohemberry Tresp. Clown severed pelvis. Good, we need that. The effigy of Balthazar who lacked ambition. What was his, or what use his refusal? He thought himself free, but destiny claimed his corpse the same. Below is an exaggerated signature written in blood, or in the red. Interesting. Bunch of soap around. Who are you, and why are you talking to me? Your stealing has caught someone's attention. What will you do? Talk my way out of the situation. Ex I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. I've seen nothing unusual. You'll walk free, for now, but your stories won't land so well if you're caught again. Who is this person, and why do they care that we've entered this building? Anyways, we're leaving. Closing the door. Apparently they're mad we stole the clown pelvis, which is a weird thing to get mad about. They're trying to extort us for some money, I think. Anywho, let's continue on our way. We're almost back at the Elfsong Tavern. Let's take this side street. We've got much to explore, and we're just going to kind of look around. Also, we're encumbered because clown pelvises are apparently heavy. Candlehouse Tombstones. We need to go in there. I've got this. Not used to lying low. Wasting my time. <sighs> Fiddly things. Anyone see that? No, I think we're okay. Let's go in and close the door this time, maybe. 260 experience for walking in. Must be a quest thing, and I know it is. This is a ball place. This is where we find the ball. Or we can find a way down to the ball stuff. You can also go through 
I think you can go through the sewers as well. Butterfly on a skull? Alright. Lock picking impossible. Lock door has red text on it reading All are weighted, all are embraced, none shall escape. We have a terrible history or investigation check. Let's try investigation, I guess. We're going to add guidance. It's DC 20. We have plus five, so our luck is actually very good, apparently, on that roll. Great. It reminds you of the symbol people say has been seen at recent ritual murder sites. You should investigate those serial killings. Okay. We'll come back. Apparently, we can't just... Bri or, uh... Ooh, there's a steel watch coming. We can't just bluff our way through. Let's not fight this fist patrol with a steel watcher. Well, it is a large creature and we'd actually do a ton of damage against it. We could probably pulverize it actually with our main character. I don't want to get in a big fight right away. Let's talk to Pythonicus. You don't want none of this. Trust. You have eight hit points. Okay, never mind. Apparently we don't want none of this. We are trusting him. Ermin, is that you? The city is chock-a-block with bodies, thanks to these murders. I can barely keep up with all the orders. Oh, okay. Just walking through all the back paths. I know we're going to be attacked at some point in time here. Can't remember exactly where, though. I think it might be down in this graveyard area. The Gorion Mausoleum Key. The Gorion Mausoleum. Let's go in there. Hey, my folks are buried here. I'd like to pay them a visit. Okay. Lord Gregorian Gorion. Here lies Lord Gregorian Gorion, first High Constable of Baldur's Gate, the city's protector. Not the same Gorion that is from the game. This is a strength check. We should not be doing it with this character. Oh, well, we'll give it a shot anyways. We could choose an elixir, I guess. Or use enlarge get advantage. Let's just see how it goes. It worked out. Inside there's an elixir of, healer, elixir of heroism, some plate armor to sell, some bones of Le Lord Gregorian Gorion. Don't know why I'd want those. We'll come back to them if we need them. Anything in here? The Hewn Mausoleum, we just... Had a whole bunch of perception checks. Found a trap. And we failed all the rest of our traps checks. So why do we keep doing this to ourselves? Have a lot on my mind. You got this. You have better strength. In it. That worked out. I should have used Guidance, but it worked out in the end. Shield plus one. The Legacy of Hewn. Kneel with the weight of all you value at his feet and he will reveal himself. What does that mean? At the ready. More traps. Oh, we almost walked over that trap. There's also a cracked tile there. Right, let's disarm these things. Trying to blow ourselves up with whatever this is. I don't know what the riddle here means. Kneel with all we value. 
Another hewn mausoleum key. A gargoyle head and one gold. That apparently is part of a trap. I guess I'm disarming the gargoyle head. That's fine. Whatever. There's definitely something here. There's a wall. I don't know if we can get through, but it looks weird, right? It looks like it should open. Just think if there's any weird looking books here. We might have to come back here. There's probably more to this place than meets the eye, Neil, but we'll we'll come back to that. That's Billium. That's some person that's sanctuary on them. Death's blessings upon you. I am Mortark's sire, devotee of Kelimvor. Okay. I pray you find comfort among the dead, as I do. To rid ourselves of the coils of flesh is a beautiful thing. Right. You are a weirdo. There's another ghoul here. I will find you. An air of decay hangs over the stooped beggar's form. The smell of rot. The smell of death. Sister always hides from me. She likes to play. Do you know where she's hiding? In the ground. Over there. <laughs> Some people covered her in dirt. <laughs> But I will find her again. Like... If she's in the ground, that means she's dead. No. No. She is just good at keeping still. That's not at all what that she means. She's the best at this game. I never win, except when she lets me. Oh, poor dude. Okay, I'm going to go back in that thing. I feel we can figure this out. Going back into that... Where's that crypt? The hewn one. There it hey is. Alright, it said Neo with all your stuff, right? What if we just need the heaviest? Who's the heaviest person in our group? What to do? Just bring all your stuff. On, let's go. No one me he, she clearly has the most stuff. Let's get going. What if we all have to like walk? There's a tile here. Hey, good looking. Try and put everyone on here. Maybe that. Oh, hey, something. It worked. I thought we could figure it out. I thought there'd be like a kneel command, but then I was like, bring all your stuff. Maybe that means we have to have lots of stuff. And apparently, that was kind of what we needed. There does appear to be some Damn. things in here. Let's take a quick look. There's at least two chests. There's a bunch of silver junk we're not going to bring any of it. We're going to grab the charm person scroll, though. And we'll read the journal. What's it say? This old diary contains thousands of short entries describing the writer's doings in short factual sentences. One entry catches your eye. It was introduced to me as the Emperor. Surprising, but its information was good. Its ideas are brilliant. I'll not turn up my nose. A boon to the knights, I think. Interesting. Mm. Fiddly things. We're gonna rob the hewn grave. Which has a hundred dollars, which is actually not that much money. Kind of a disappointing haul from that chest. What else is there? A diamond and some more money. I was kinda of hoping for some good items or something. I have to say I'm a little disappointed. Oh well. Alright. Let's see if we can find a fight to do quickly before the end of the video. I thought for sure we got ambushed in the graveyard last time. Maybe I'm wrong. There's definitely a dug up grave here. 
All right, well, let's head this way. Okay, this is the Forge of the Nine. This is just below Damon's place, but there is something we can do here. If we open the basement, I do remember there's some items down here that we can quickly grab. A mace plus two, longsword plus two. And we are encumbered. Looking ahead. We'll use our main character to grab them. There's a Warhammer plus one. I'm going to skip that way. one. No more other stuff. There's a gilded chest over there in the corner. It is not locked. Unwanted Master Wear Greaves. They're worth selling, I guess. Unwanted Master Wear Gloves plus one attack. Plus... Wait. Oh, no. Okay. I thought I meant plus one attack. Like, you get one extra attack a turn. Because that would be insanely good. Like a haste spell, basically. But I think it's plus one to attack rolls. It's got to be because... Well, maybe it's not. Maybe it is plus one attack. Who knows? Does it look like there's something behind this to anyone else? Every wall is immune to slashing damage. And yet a crossbow can break them down. That makes no sense to me, but what's over here? The Enigmatic Art of Hemomancy. Blood magic? The Enigmatic Art of Hemomancy unveils a proprietary and revolutionary method of blood processing for the precise drawing of the intricate magical symbols used in rituals. Delve into the secrets of this groundbreaking fusion of magic and medicine as it unveils a new era of precision and power in spellcasting. Within the pages of this meticulously crafted tome, you'll discover a step-by-step -step guide to harnessing the latent magical potential within blood from the Selection of ideal blood specimens to the intricate processing techniques, this book offers detailed instructions and diagrams, making the complex art of hemomancy accessible to practitioners of all kinds. It's not super weird at all or anything. There's an opulent chest over here in the corner. Let's go pick that up. We almost failed that roll. Mmm, some alchemy junk. What would be upstairs from here, though? I don't actually know. Let's go find out. Nope. I can't use this right now. Well, there's a lever. Can I use that? I had to hit the lever first. Got it. What's that? Oh, this is someone's store. Hi, this is awkward. I, uh... What is it? I understand. We're in the place where we can... Eventually learn how to travel to Raphael's place, but we're not going to do that right now. There's also something potentially back here. I'm going to go take a look. Can we get through this gate? Is there anything over here? Is this just a placeholder aesthetic stuff? It doesn't look like there's anything over here. Nor can we get there, I don't think. Okay. So I think for now we're going to call it a video here. In the next video we'll actually go down into Sorceress Sundries, which I think will be our next area of exploration. We have a few things to do there. We have Speak to Larokin. We have Speak with the Bookseller. There's a murder target apparently nearby. And we have to investigate Full Gear's fireworks. They're also pretty close by. A bunch more murder targets. This is the Blushing Mermaid. We have to investigate that as well. There's another murder target and a murder target. And we have to find Zara's palace and to deal with Asterion's quest at some point in time. The Devil's Fee will explore somewhat soon. I kind of just want to go over here and just take a quick glance at what's over in this little darkened area. And then we'll be done. I think there's just a grave here. I remember there being a fight in the graveyard, but maybe I'm mistaken. There's a lot of dirt mounds around, which is a little worrying. Should I be digging those up? We'll ponder that. Alright. For now, I'll leave you here. Take care. See you all in the next video.